Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'm very excited to be here today and to film my moving project pan. While we don't exactly know what's going on at the moment about my move, which was supposed to happen in June, um, it looks like that's not happening clearly um, still, but I am excited to have a little bit more time to finish up some of my makeup products I'm trying to use up before we go, so I'm very, very pleased about that. This project has technically, from the intro that you saw, it says one month, but in reality it has been two because of the circumstances that we have all found ourselves living in. I haven't worn makeup all that much, so there is a whole lot less progress <laughs> than I was hoping, so I am kind of excited to have a little bit more time. But we shall see what happens as we continue forward, shall we? Let's get into it, because I do have a few empties. Um, they are almost all like sheet masks, single-use style things. But let's start with this one. This is the Neutrogena Illuminating Boost Mask. I actually really enjoyed this mask. You can see it comes in two parts, and I thought it did a great job moisturizing. I would definitely look and purchase this one again, and it was that gel consistency, so it's a bit of a thicker mask, and I like the fact it was in two parts so I could actually have it fit my face better. Love this. 10 out of 10 would reuse, and you can see it has lots and lots of juice in there, but when I put it on, it didn't like drip into my eyes or into my hair or anything like that, so I thought this was great. I'm actually kind of sad that that one's out of my life. I also have two foil samples in here. I've got the Asana Charcoal Mask. This is a peel-off black mask. Um, it's one of the ones that hurts. It's not like unbearable, but I definitely lost some hair on my face. <laughs> and then I also have the Smashbox Primer back here. Um, it was the moisturizing primer. I don't think it was amazing. I don't think it's the worst. I wouldn't go out my room to purchase it, but if I got a free sample, I would totally use it. I don't know. I find primers very hard to use in that style. The last thing I have used up, you might have seen in my empties, but this is the Kiko Milano powder. Oh my god, this is in the shade 01 Arctic. No, just ivory. 01 ivory. L really like this powder. As you can see, I use like every little bit of it. This was so good. Um, it has a little shine to it, so it, when it hits your face, it just smooths everything out, really makes it look good. I use it as a finishing powder, and I l really liked it. Um, would purchase this again, except for the fact Kiko Milano is no longer near me. <laughs> they close that store. <laughs> but really like this one. If it ever comes to Ulta, which I think it does, and when I have access to stays, I will be living near an Ulta, hopefully, um, I might pick this up again. Really like that one. And that was my first powder of the year. You guys know one of my goals this year is to use a powder, so I'm really pleased the fact that like I got one gone and it's full size. Ah, love that. Okay, let's talk about um, something else that I've done really good work on. This is Ari by Ariana Grande Perfume. And you can see I just have a little bit there at the bottom. I was at that mark two months ago and now I'm down there. Fragrance is something I have continued to use. Um, and as you can see, I only have a little tiny bit left. Like that is maybe a week's worth of use in there. I know it's kind of hard to see, but it's almost nothing, like clearly nothing. So this will be an empty. <laughs> it's the last thing I do. Um, and to replace this, I'm actually gonna roll in another perfume. Um, let me talk about that right now because that's the only thing I will be rolling in. This is a Victoria's Secret Mood fragrance in the scent Sweet Craving. You can see I don't have very much left. This was another project pan. I was at that black line. And then I ended up shifting to make it easier to use because the, the nozzle on that is broken into one of my scent bird roller ons. And so this is the same fragrance. What are these called? Sprayers? Travel sprayers? I don't know. Scent bird is great though because these are totally reusable. And I'm going to try and use up this and that section, but just use it out of here. So yeah, I'm really excited to get going on this. This size normally lasts me um, about a month and a half, so six weeks to seven weeks each use. So I probably have 14 weeks left, <laughs> which is why I'm kind of happy that I might have some more time to go um, to work on this stuff. So I'm excited to get going on that. Okay, sorry. Let's go into some things that I haven't even touched yet, and that's okay, but I need to get going on. The first thing, Peter Thomas Roth Gold Mask, haven't tried it. You can see, again, another project pan, just didn't finish it yet. I haven't really reached for it. That was my problem with the last project pan either. It's like, meh, it's an expensive product, but I don't really care. <laughs> it doesn't 
doesn't do anything for my skin. This is the Mary Kay Oil Free Makeup Remover. I don't know if I talked about this last time, but I did want to put this in my project. I'm about finished with my Biotherm. I'm like within days of finishing, so hopefully this um, I'll be able to use. And it is one of those Biophase ones, so I want to get this gone. I've just had it, I think, for three years, so it's time for this to go. And once I start using it, it will go pretty fast. I just need to put it in rotation. <laughs> Lots and lots of sheet masks. I won't go through all of these, but these are the ones that I have not used yet. And these, because I just haven't gotten around to it. Sorry. Um, Douglas hydrating mask, haven't done that yet. Sephora sleeping mask, Sephora sleeping mask, haven't gotten to yet. You would think after two months most of these would be empties, but you'd be wrong. <laughs> because I'm totally wrong. I just haven't like really done that type of skincare lately. Now let's go into some more stuff I have been using, shall we? Because that's way more exciting than what I just showed you. <laughs> I have been using this Laura Geller Shine Stick lip color. It's what I got on today. I love it. I think it looks so good. Um, unfortunately, I can't measure it. That's what the tip looks like in case you were wondering. So I can't measure like what is left in there, but it actually does feel significantly lighter. I wish I had some way to like weigh this. Because now it used to feel like the product went all the way to the bottom here. Now it actually feels like it's up here, the product. But of course, it's only how I feel it. Like when I try and grip it, like where is it falling? Where's the balance point? Like all that jazz. So I'm excited about this. Yay. <laughs> I, think I, still, I think I still have two to, three week, uh, two to three months still to work on it. But I'm excited. I'm getting good progress. And I do love it. I think it looks great. Eyeliner! Yay, the Julep eyeliner. This eyeliner is something I haven't really worn <laughs> lately. It's just not on my to-wear list. It's like an extra step that I don't feel like I need. I feel like during all this I put on like mascara, lip product, maybe do my brows and then I'm over it. So this is one I haven't really used all that much. So this is what I've got left. I'm only trying to use up the brown side. And when I show it to you on the paper it's like kind of pitiful. <laughs> Sorry. So I was there. I'm not there. That is two months worth of progress. But two months of basically not wearing makeup, okay? So really, that's probably a week, maybe two weeks worth of progress. Um, so yeah, just something that happened. It just happened and we're okay with it. It's just life. We'll continue working on it. Last, but certainly not leastly, is the foundation. I am wearing this today and it's clearly too light now, so I've had to mix it, um, but it's almost done. It's like sputtering. I can tell I'm very close to the bottom and also I can see the mark. So I was there two months ago. I am now there. You can see the line actually, and that's why it's sputtering. Um, and now I still think this will take me probably another month if I don't put makeup on. <laughs> I think if I was, you know, if I was wearing makeup every day, this of course would be gone. But I'm not, so I'm, I just have a little bit left. But this will definitely be gone. I'm not going to carry this with me. Like, how stupid it would be if I moved with that much foundation. <laughs> no, not going to happen. But we're not there yet. And that is my update. Um, I'm hoping next month will be more makeup, more skincare, just more use in general, but I really do appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Happy panning. Bye.